This is the all new Camp Chef Apex 36. Today we're gonna go over the grill, talk about all of the features and what makes Camp Chef as a brand and this Apex the most versatile grill company and grill on the market. Now let's dive right into it. So yeah, this thing is huge. The Camp Chef Apex 36 with the gas attachment is weighing in at around 350 pounds. It's a tank. It's over 70 inches long as you can see. It's wider than my wingspan. If you asked me a year ago, is there a grill out there above $2,000 that's worth the money? And my answer would have been, heck no. That's an insane amount of money to spend on a grill. But over the past few years, companies have been coming out with their top tier, their premium grill. And Camp Chef listened to their customers and to the market, and they did exactly the same thing. So this is their new premium line pellet grill. Now, the Camp Chef Apex comes essentially in four different configurations. Two different sizes, 24 inch and 36 inch, and you can get them as just pellet grills, or as you can see here, I've got mine with the gas attachment. The gas attachment gets you the 14 inch sidekick along with that griddle. It also gives you a six burner gas system. The 24 inch with the gas system gives you the same, except it is a four burner instead of six. Now, the construction on this thing is what sets it apart from the rest of the Camp Chef products. This has a double wall insulated lid and chamber. This thing holds heat like none other. And you're probably saying, well, your grill looks brand frickin' new. And the truth is it is. I haven't even done the burn-in yet. A few months ago, I was in Utah with Camp Chef as well as a couple other content creators, and we got to spend a couple days cooking on the Apex. And I'm gonna tell you what, this thing runs like a champ. It has a 30 pound hopper. Inside of that hopper is a low pellet sensor. That sensor will trigger a warning when you have about one hour of fuel left. And for me, I've noticed that at the temperatures I run, it's typically about a pound and a half of pellets per hour. So that hopper is gonna give you roughly 20 hours of cook time. And with that warning, it's endless. Along with that, it has pretty much the same controller that the Woodwind Wi-Fi does. That is a Bluetooth and Wi-Fi PID controller that allows you to independently set smoke and temperature settings. It also comes with four probes and a nifty, cool little magnetic storage box for your probes. Because if you're like me, you probably set them somewhere in your garage, in a drawer, drape them over another grill or shelf, and next thing you know, you can't find them. So to keep them right here in handy with the grill is a great option. Now, following the Woodwind, which previously was the flagship of Camp Chef, you're gonna see a lot of stainless steel, a lot of stainless steel, and that is a nice feature because stainless steel is what we equate to quality. Along with the stainless steel, we have a lot of black painted components, and I can tell you right now that the finish on this is like no other. This is the nicest Camp Chef grill that I've ever seen, both in aesthetics and build quality. This thing is massive. And one thing that makes this massive grill easy to maneuver is four caster wheels. Every grill company out there, if you're listening, should put four caster wheels. That's four caster wheels. In my garage, something this big is impossible to move. And if I only had two wheels that swiveled, it would be a pain in the ass to try and drive around and maneuver through my garage. Now, if you're familiar with Camp Chef's products, it has patented ash clean out system to where there's a collection cup on the bottom and a quick little lever to dump the pellets out of the burn chamber. I can tell you that that technology and that simple feature makes for an awesome experience. I know with some of my other grills, the only way to clean out that pellet burn chamber is to physically take all the racks out, the grease tray out, and then to get a vacuum in there and empty it out. And you'd have to do that every cook or every couple cooks, but on this, it's a two second job. Along with those simple features, we have a lever that allows us to dump the pellets that are in the hopper. So if for some reason you decide to change them or for some reason they got wet and you needed to get them out, just a quick throw of that lever and a bucket underneath the chute and you can empty the entire 30 pound hopper. Now when it comes to grease management, I've never had an issue with my Camp Chef. Because of their grease tray and their trough and their buckets, it did a very good job at managing grease. But this Camp Chef Apex, they redesigned that and made it super easy to use. Just a couple wing nuts in the front and it flips down and you can pull the entire grease tray out and you can use that over your trash can, whatever, to clean that up and get it right back in in time to cook. 
So one thing that they changed on this, and it's a first for their grills, is there is no chimney. As you can see, typically it would be right here, but there's not. In this, they have what they call down and out. It is a true convection style system. There are vents across the back, and what that does is it creates that rolling effect and also an even heat spread across the grill. And you're going to get a much better cooking experience with that. Now let's talk a little bit about the Sidekick attachment. Now it's got the 14 inch Sidekick and it's a special built one for the Apex. The cool thing about it is it comes with a griddle and to be honest with you, when I first got my Camp Chef grill, I didn't think it was necessary. Now I can't live without it. Now along with that griddle, you have the option to purchase additional accessories. And from that you can pick any of the Camp Chef 14 inch accessories. So, like I said, this grill is an absolute tank. The main cooking surface, that bottom rack, has 663 square inches of cooking surface. The upper racks, which are adjustable to three different positions, total 573 square inches. And in totality, it's 1,236 square inches. That is a whole lot of cooking space. It's roughly 7,000 cubic inches of volume inside of this cooking chamber. That's insane. Now there's one key thing that I have left out on this entire grill. That's the six burner gas system. Yeah, we talked about it in the beginning, but the options that you have, whether that's searing or just a quick grill or whatever you're doing, you can, you've got a six burner, fully adjustable gas system inside of this grill that you can run independent from your pellet. So if you're not smoking and you're just throwing dogs on for the kids, hell with them, fire up that propane. Now my favorite feature of this grill and it's such a simple thing but my favorite is the light that is inside of this with the push of a button we have two lights inside of the chamber to illuminate the entire thing and let me tell you what it does a great job and once again that's a feature that many of you are probably thinking "Eh, i don't need it but just like my heated steering wheel once you have it you don't want anything but it i don't know how many times at night when i'm trying to finish up the food i'm standing out there with the flashlight on my cell phone. Sometimes I have to put it in my mouth so that I can use both hands. I know that's gross, but now I don't have to do that because of the lights that are built into this grill. It's, a, it's just one of those touches along with many that make this Camp Chef Apex one of the nicest and the most versatile grill on the entire grill market. And like I said, at $2,450, that's a hefty price tag. And I'm not paid to say this by any means. I honestly and truthfully think that it is worth every penny. The build construction and the quality of this grill and the sheer size and versatility is worth every penny. I can tell you with 100% certainty that this is my favorite grill on the market. If you like this video, I have a ton of other videos here at Anderson Smoke Show that I think you'd like, just like this one.